Hello again. Welcome. Today we'll be looking at posts on Reddit by dumbass people. It's one of my favorite things is consuming true off my chest. And I promise you, this is not just me being like, oh my God, I'm out of ideas. Please, someone fill my head with something to talk about. I don't need to explain myself to you. Suck my d**k. You press play. Let's go. Oh, I found out my wife is pretending to be a black man on Reddit. <laughs> we need to know what's going on. <laughs> What is she doing? Storming the Capitol isn't that bad of an idea. <laughs> Just typing in Ebonics and sh For shizzle, my whizzle. Yeah. Damn, player. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, player. You should have took that Capitol down. Huh, I'd be in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna be in the pit. Now, when we read this, that's all we're going to be thinking of. <laughs> we're going to assume this is fake, but goddamn. We'll, we'll see if this guy's creative writing skills hold up. So this is going to be kind of tough to type out see already strong already strong we can hear this voice so this is gonna be kind of tough to type out to start we are both white <laughs> i mean we know sorry i'm just dying it black man on reddit <laughs> no she's just on the hip-hop head subreddit upvoting all the white rappers <laughs> i don't know why these white boys get so much hate they're fine <laughs> But essentially, I was on my wife's computer for work since mine had just kind of died the other day. I wasn't trying to snoop around or anything, but I noticed in the history that she had been on Reddit. I didn't know that she even used this site, so this came as a surprise. She knew I used it, so I was curious as to why she never mentioned it. I looked at the profile, and needless to say, I was beyond shocked at the posts and the comments that I found. I won't go into too much detail as to not make anyone upset, yeah, yeah, we know it. We know what she's doing. Holy fuck. In that soft A. Yeah, she's so casual. Yeah, about. casually. She was pretending to be a part of the black community, even going as far as pushing certain agendas, all while pretending to be someone she's not. She even had a profile picture of some random black guy. I saw she regularly got into arguments with people on the site as well. I'm not sure how to even bring this up. I guess I really just needed to vent because I feel the image of the wife I knew was falling apart. And I don't know how to deal with this. I'm using a throwaway because I seriously don't want this on my main account. Well, duh. She's been noticing I've been acting distant and not sticking around the house as much. She asked me if I've been cheating. Of course I deny and we got into arguments about it, so I'm stressed out. What the hell? Please do not ask for the user. I don't think I will share what it is because it's likely she'll be bombarded with comments and she'll know that I know. It'll just complicate things when I bring it up. I'm sorry, fro anyone. <laughs> I'm sorry for the aforementioned post. <laughs> I'm sorry fro anyone and everyone that I may have upset. I just wanted to vent because it feels my world, my whole world, excuse me, is coming down. <laughs> my white, my white world, my yeah. world. Yeah. I, married, I married a black man. Yeah. Like I'm going to confront her. Just need to process all of it. Okay. So I have to be honest. I saw this post already. The, t the top comment at the time that I saw it is a couple down, and it's the funniest one. Better than anything I could say <laughs> off the cuff. Ask her who the black man is that's been using her private computer and how long she's been having an affair with him. <laughs> oh, my God. That's really smart. <laughs> it would be so funny if that's how you found out. He's like, honey, we need to talk. I know the truth. You've not been true to me. It's okay. You can be honest. You've been acting as a person of color online. Mm. And then she just looks at him and goes, what? No, I'm just not some other guy that I work with. <laughs> he comes over and uses the yeah, he comes over, uses the computer and he my brains out. <laughs> Did you see the tabs where I'm like figuring out how to leave? Oh, that's just his user account. You missed all the tabs. Where, oh, yeah, I've been reading it for months. How to leave, how divorce proceedings work. What's some of the difficulties by initiating a divorce as a woman? You know, stuff like that. But I'm leaving. I'm leaving you. It's over. You've now met my boyfriend. As I describe this scenario, there are some Redditors that are bricked up by this idea. Oh. <laughs> 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 They just probably read this top comment, like, ask who, you know, ask who the man is that's been using her computer. And they're like, oh, score. <laughs> Honey, I know what you've been doing. And it's okay. Oh, that one I'm really glad he put online. That's some, that's some good entertainment right there. Assuming that story wasn't real, I think you missed your opportunity applying to write for Atlanta.
perhaps if Donald puts out another season, you have a shot of getting on there because that's a, that's a funny ass scenario. Hey everybody, I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Factor. Gamers, listen up. You can get fresh, ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep when you sign up with Factor. Factor's chef-created meals are fresh, never frozen, and designed by dietitians to ensure that every meal is packed with premium, science-backed nutritional quality. How's that sound? Factor meals are made to save you time, okay? You can cut out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping. The meals come together in minutes. They want to eliminate all the guesswork for your meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Factor offers a different ton of meal preference options. Look at this, they got keto, Calorie smart, vegan, vegetarian. They also got over 27 meal options for each week. They're guaranteed to have something for everybody. Their meal plans range from four to 18 meals a week. You can increase or decrease as you like. You can even modify your food preferences as you go or even skip a week. So to all my gamers or partners of gamers, if you wanna to start to eat healthier, this could be an option for you. You can click my link in the description or visit go.factor75.com and use my code Pog Noel DEC 60. Yeah, that's the code P O G N O E L D E C 60. However, you do it, you'll get 60% off your first box. I have you know, as the best StarCraft player in the history of the internet, I don't fuel myself with fast food. I use Factor. It enables me to fuel my body and continue my reign as the fastest hands on the internet. So, again, if you're looking to get healthy, hit my link or visit go.factor75.com and use my code POGNOELDEC60. Yes, that's the whole code. Okay, now let's get back to the video. My husband is participating in No Nut November. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to argue for 30 days straight. What a champion. <laughs> Throwaway account. We don't care. We don't care. Me female 22 and my husband male 26 have been married for almost two years we don't have any kids and don't plan to for a long time <laughs> hard lines there nothing will be crawling out of this side so, note that's kind of always how i picture birth it's not the head it's just hands it's pulling itself out he found about this whole no nut november bullshit <laughs> see guys women are funny don't be doubtful he found out about this whole no nut november bullshit a few months back and he's been wanting to try to go a whole month without nutting the problem is i have a higher sex drive once a day but he can go for three to four days without sex which i'm like fine whatever but now i can't even get twice a week Damn, Jerry Seinfeld voice. <laughs> but now I can't even get twice a week. I feel I've married a child that follows internet trends. I feel my marriage is gonna fall apart. I'm so done. And before anyone suggests toys, I can't do that. Toys can't match the feel of a real human. It's different. She wants love made to her. This is a woman who locked it in for love. And what does she get? A grown ass man on TikTok. Three days in, boys. He's doing that for nine likes. <laughs> hoping. Uh, hoping for virality. I've kept it in. I'm keeping it in. A lot of guys keep it in involuntarily, bro. <laughs> You're a dick. You're <laughs> selfish. <laughs> your wife. Take her to town. Do what you signed up to do. Blow her back out. Before we do. <laughs> <Okay>. What? <laughs> Alex, you don't blow backs out. <laughs> Alex, that's too much confidence, okay? You may service people, but you don't blow backs okay, out. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't know what to do with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with a lot of things. <laughs> 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 do it, do it Always in a rush to put his ankles by his head. <laughs> you guys don't understand. Alex is so fast to put his ankles by his head. He loves it. Oh, so ladies, slide into his DMs because oh, no. he wants you to put him... <laughs> on his back yeah he wants you to slide into him uh, this is truly alex's burner right here <laughs> sometimes i wipe boogers on my cat <laughs> <laughs> and there's no text body <laughs> it's just that you know what's funny is there was a similar post like a month ago and the guy just goes i have a little <laughs> And the text body was just felt better saying it out loud. 
I wonder if there's a post with three upvotes. It's just, I killed someone. Yeah. yeah. I hacked up a bunch of people and kept them in my garage. Hey, 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 real quick. Like this video. I don't give a f if you don't actually like it. Like it. And subscribe. And turn on the bell. Get notified. The next time I post a video, I don't care what you're doing. Mouth to mouth, saving someone, f them. It's my time. No, I'm kidding. Save that person. And then, you know, when they're in the stretcher, like, <laughs> enjoy a nice piece of content with me. Unwashed, question mark? Boys, this might be you. Forgive me for the title, but I am appalled. My guy friend sent me a video on Snapchat of him and his friend joking around, trying to be funny. In the video, his friend pulls down his pants. <laughs> See? I don't know if they're trying to be funny because it's already got cash. <laughs> it's got cash laughing. In the video, his friend pulls down his pants, moons the camera, shakes his butt. There was literal visible... <laughs> Smeared <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> on and inside. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, it says smeared on and inside. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, you know, it's like when you do drywall repair, there's a little <laughs> leftover, you know? Sometimes the crack gets filled, and there's like a little bit of a spill, right? There are also flakes in the hairs. <laughs> How detailed was this fucking video? This one's real. This is trauma right here because of this sentence. This was actual poo. <laughs> there must have been like cutting open into a durian, you know? Yeah. Just, oh. <laughs> just. Sorry, that's a, that's a tropical fruit joke. All my people in, you know, Thailand will get that one. I'm repulsed. Is this common? I'm actually terrified to sit in public seating now if it is. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, just a little play, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. Now really quickly, let me interrupt the flow of this video to say, I'm on tour, and if you didn't know that, now you do. NoelleMillerLive.com. Thank you to everyone that's bought a ticket. Just a quick heads up, a couple shows sold out. Atlanta sold out, but we added another show. Chicago sold out. We added another show. Portland, I think there's like less than 10 tickets left. By the time this goes out, it's probably sold out. Uh, Amsterdam, Toronto. Gone. <laughs> Off the face of the map. <laughs> we blew them up. <laughs> Brisbane, almost sold out. Sydney, well on its way. Uh, shout out to everyone uh, in Melbourne. I'm, I'm playing the same night as Harry Styles, and I'm trying to sell out the same night as Harry Styles to say, it don't matter. And so far, the people of Melbourne are showing up, and they're supporting me, so thank you so much. So go buy a ticket. It's going to be a great time, uh, and I want to see you there. Okay, let's get back to this smoking hot commentary. This right here is everyone on TikTok. I had an official IQ test done by an institution. My IQ is 82 and I'm pretty devastated. Sometimes you figure out who you really are after a 5150, you know? It's kind of a stupid joke. That's, a, that's an insane premise. You're mentally disturbed. Your loved ones around you are very concerned. So they call the authorities to put you in a straitjacket and they haul you off to an institution. And then when you get there, you sit down and they're like, before we begin, can you solve this long division? We hear you, you got some issues. We just want to find out if you're just dumb. <laughs> I'm legitimately almost mentally handicapped, apparently. Okay, see, this right here just t tells me you don't pay attention. I'm legitimately almost mentally handicapped, apparently. <laughs> and I had no idea. I guess I'm literally too dumb to figure out how stupid I am without doctors telling me. Man, this blows. The worst part about this kind of news from doctors is there's no treatment. They can't make me more smarter. <laughs> make me more smarter with science or medicine, so I'm stuck this way. I shouldn't have taken the test. I wish I could go back to when I didn't know how dumb I am. I mean, dude, you just found out you're like everyone else. It's not that big of a deal. We're all mostly stupid, right? There's, there's probably like a good 5 to 10% of humans that actually know how to fix everything. But the rest of us, we make it hard. Hey, we probably shouldn't eat this food that we're consuming. Monsanto's a bad company. And we should really change the way we distribute food and how we handle it and how we take care of it. I want Doritos. 
<laughs> That's the rest of us. I want chips. Mm. We have a lady approaching. No, I'm excited. <laughs> Pull up. Hey, legs. Can I ask you a question? Sure. How would you feel if I participated in No Nut November? <laughs> <laughs> what a supportive wow. wife. Whatever you want to do, she said. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nutting this one. The race is on. <laughs> Alina, what do you think your IQ is? I did. It's so sad. But I went in breakfast. But you haven't eaten it. And it's apple. Food. Yeah, I, I, I had an apple. Yeah, I carried away. And chocolate instead. This is why this is why men will die. Excuse me, before every men's rights podcast acts up. <laughs> this is why some men are doomed to death. You heard that, folks? Alex goes, I wanted breakfast, and he takes a banana and he doesn't eat it for three hours. <laughs> and then sure. says, It's fine, I had chocolate. <laughs> Remember when I said 90% of us are, like, dumb? I'm right there with Alex. That's something I would do. <laughs> I haven't eaten other than the Kit Kat. I yeah, here, yeah. Dumb. Sometimes I wonder how many ingredients Doritos have in common with pesticide. You ever think about that? You're just eating pesticide chips? That's a crazy way to live life as well. Just walking around thinking what foods you have in common with poison. That's why I think that's why people don't like vegans. Because they we all know that we're killing ourselves, and vegans are like, you know, you're like, they just... They're, they're telling us what we don't want to know consciously. We know it, but we've accepted. I'm going to die by way of Doritos and like trolley bike candy. And then you're just over there like, that's not real food. We know, dude. We, it looks like Peter Pan food. We know. Let's end it on this. I drank my friend's breast milk. Whoops, I was logged in. Yikes. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> I didn't come here to play, now nah, I came with a plan I'm the star inside my circle, I'm the pentagram, whoa Making sacrifices just to get the land, oh I'm trying to see how fast that hurricane go Eyes burning, no sleep, hustle is OD Collecting heavy